national competition. Tracy Lee is one of those competitors that we were talking about earlier when I said that they must, must be just thrilled to be on the ice with the reigning world and Olympic champion, Katerina Witt. Double axle, combination finishing, and a double flip. Tracy Leebrook makes her home in Sydney, Australia, where folks are watching this competition on Sky Channel 9 in Sydney, Australia. Nice double loop, double loop combination. The thing that makes that particular combination so difficult is you land on your right foot on a back outside edge and you have to immediately, without the assist of the other foot, lift right back up into another double jump. She did it very well. Jojo, in your estimation, how far behind the Americans and the Soviets are the Australians? Well, the Australians are really not terribly strong in any of the events, but they've been coming along steadily for years. I think uh, a lot of them train in the United States and in other places of the world to try and get improved techniques. But I think they do have a ways to go. And here she attempts a double axle, double toe loop combination. She does complete it. But you know, her, Phil, her style is not really mature. It's rather stiff and it's not at all fluid. But that comes in time. Of those of you watching, keep in mind what you are seeing here and compare it to what you will see coming up next when the world champion takes the ice. Phil, it's those years of international experience that will eventually bring a skater like Tracy Lee that orchestrated abandon that the more mature skaters seem to have. Double Lutz, double loop jump combination. Very difficult and very well done. For the routine that Tracy Lee Brooke has brought to Kushiro, she has skated it well. She's the youngest lady in the field, 16-year-old Tracy Lee Brook of Sydney, Australia. Australia, ranging from 5.2 down to 4.7. There often seems to be a disparity amongst the judges, but it's... ...time, world and...